hello and welcome everyone to this youtube channel today we are going to see state board class 10 science 1 chapter number 6 refraction of light as uh, we in a lower standard that is a standard 9th already we have studied about the reflection so this year we are going to learn about the refraction what exactly is a refraction so another uh, very uh, important phenomena of the light because uh, previous year what we have studied uh, the phenomena of a light that is reflection of a light in that we had already studied about that whenever the light uh, or the light ray falls on the uh, shiny surface like a mirror then it deviates and changes its path and uh, Actually, you know, when we recall that reflection, if I want to draw over here about the reflection and the light which falls on it get reflected in the other direction. And uh, this mirror like or the shiny surface what we are having is changing the path of the light ray. This is the uh, incident ray or the eye if I am measuring. Or writing and this is as a R just initial of the incident and the reflected ray then this both are present in this medium same medium in this case it was the uh, air but when we talk about the refraction of a light the main and the most important part is the change of a medium here medium was same for the incident and the reflected ray but when we talk about the refraction in the refraction the basic concept is change of medium there will be a change in the medium for the light in which it's traveling means whenever light travels from one medium to the another medium there will be change in its path simply if i want to talk about the refraction in the definition first we will see the definition and then we will talk about with a picture light changes its direction when going from one transparent medium to another transparent medium this is called the refraction of light so refraction of a light is nothing but what when the light changes its direction or the path also you can write changes its path when going from one transparent medium to another transparent medium that is called as the refraction now this how to understand about it let's talk about this particular figure what we have is a glass slab we have a glass slab or the glass as a transparent glass as a medium and there is an incident ray on it now if i'm talking about this incident ray which is falling on it it's falling on a certain angle so this angle is nothing but what the angle of incidence and this the perpendicular is nothing but the normal we call it as a normal and this angle i is the angle of incidence now here what's happening suppose if there is no glass slab then what we are expecting is the light which is falling over here will go straight like this the actual path the straight line because we had already studied that light always travels in a straight line but what exactly is happening when the glass slab is there and the light falling on it at a one particular angle which we call as angle of incidence then instead of going in a straight line the light changes its path and you can see it's going like this way light is changing its path and this angle what it's making over here this angle is called as the angle of refraction this angle is called as a refraction why this is happening so for that i just want to uh, take this portion over here you can see this is nothing but what air and this is nothing but water glass so here what is happening at the junction of this two this junction there is a change in a medium because what exactly is happening the light which was traveling over here initially in the air and then suddenly the medium changed for it 
from air to glass at this particular junction there is a change in a medium from air to glass so what exactly is happening due to that the light changes its path now the question comes why the light is changing its path it all depends on the density of that materials the density of air and the density of glass due to that density the speed of a light or the velocity of a light what we have is changing in the medium and that change in a velocity of a light brings the difference or change in the path of the light now not only here at the other end also at this end also you can see when there is a change in the medium because here what we have is a glass and outside we have a air so what exactly is happening again there is a change in the medium glass to air light ray is traveling from glass to air this is your glass and then this is your air so change in a medium change in a path again because here now what was expected is the expectation was what it should go in a straight line but it's not going it's going away from it so this is nothing but what the concept of the refraction in a refraction by the definition when we go back to the definitions what we have done is nothing but the change in a path of the light when it's traveling from one medium to the other medium the concept of the refraction the definition from the textbook you can uh, copy down and you can write down from there and learn from there but the concept is there will be a change in a path of a light ray when it's traveling from one medium to the another medium and then another words like a transparent medium and all that that you can add up further is when we talk about this terms already we have discussed that angle of incidence angle of refraction and is a normal and the one more term that is e over here e is nothing but the angle of emergent or the angle of emergence also you can call it means what light which entered from the air entered inside the glass and then from glass to air again means just going inside the glass and coming out of it emerging out of that glass lab that's why this particular angle is called as the angle of emergence so this is about what we have is a concept of the uh, refraction further they have given as a laws of refraction there are the uh, two laws of the uh, refraction that we will see what they have given incident ray the which i was talking about at the beginning incident ray and refracted ray at the point of incidence are on the opposite sides of the normal to the surface at of the slab and at that point the three incident ray refracted ray and the normal are in the same plane this all the three will be in a same plane at the side where it's falling on the surface for a given pair of media for the given pair of a media that is air and glass the ratio of the sin i to sin r is a constant here i is the angle of incidence and r is the angle of refraction means what they are saying that is the ratio of sin i upon sin r means this two angles sin sin uh, trigonometry already you might have studied in your maths that sin of i and the sin of r the ratio if we are taking for the particular pair of media or the medium it's going to be a constant it's going to be a constant so this constant value what we have is called as the refractive index for a combinations this is always for the combination suppose here they are taken as a air and glass so this particular combination will have a constant value even i can have air and water i can have water and glass so this particular is called as a refractive index there we have to talk about with respect to what we are calculating and the absolute refractive index when we talk about it, it's always we are considering with the air or the vacuum 
because air is having almost similar uh, refractive index like a vacuum that is almost one for the air we have 1.0003 and for the vacuum we are considering it as a one so let's go towards the refractive index part what they have given over here refractive index you can see over here they have given sin i upon sin r is equal to constant and that we are denoting by the neta or the n the change in the direction of a light ray while entering different media is different it is related to the refractive index of the medium this value of the refractive index is different for the different media and also for light of a different color for the same medium so it all depends on the three factors actually the two are the medium and the one is the color of the light so that decides the what will be a refractive index and till which extent the light will bend or change its path so refractive index depends on the velocity of the light in the medium that is also important further as uh, this uh, formula we call it as a snell's law this formula we call it as a snell's law further as uh, they have given a table over here the absolute refractive index of uh, some media with respect to vacuum of course that already we have discussed then uh, you can see the air is a 1.003 ice is a 1.31 water 1.33 alcohol 1.36 here you can see the diamond is a highest 2.42 and that's why the diamond is uh, shiny it shines a lot further as uh, they have given refractive index formula in the terms of the velocities refractive index of uh, medium 1 with respect to the medium 2 is uh, v1 upon v2 the velocity of light in a medium 1 upon velocity of a light in medium 2 so this also you can remember like here if i am writing the refractive index of a 2 with respect to 1 then it will be v2 upon v1 further they have given us about uh, how the light is changing its path in that as at the beginning only i said that the density of the material plays an important role so if light travels from rarer medium to the denser medium if the light traveling from rarer to the denser medium then the light ray will bend towards the normal one by one we will see see the rarer medium is outside in the denser medium in which the light is going or entering then the light ray is bending towards like here this was the actual path of the light if i want to draw it but instead of this what exactly is happening the light is bending towards normal it's going towards normal this is the normal and you can see the light is bending towards normal it's moving like this way so this is when this is happening when the light is traveling from rarer to the denser medium and exactly opposite will be there when there is a different combination of the medium means the denser outside and the rarer out the inside in the second picture you can see that the denser medium and the rarer medium from denser to the rarer medium light ray is expected to go this way but what exactly is happening it's moving away from the normal so what we have to remember is if it's going from rarer to denser medium then what will happen then the ray will move towards normal towards normal and on the other side if it is moving from denser to the rarer medium then what will happen it will go away from normal means it will go far from the normal so this you have to remember the rarer to denser medium then towards normal and denser to rarer medium then away from the normal another possibility is that light is falling perpendicular on the medium then what will happen then there will not be deflection it will go straight in the same line but this all this reflection when we talk about is when 
when the light falls at a certain angle if light is falling exactly perpendicular on the surface then it will go straight without any change in a path so this is about the refraction of the light the next lecture onwards or so in the next video we will talk about the effect of this refraction in our day-to-day -day life how the different concepts of the day-to-day -day life like a twinkling of stars then the formation of the rainbow then the delayed sunrise and the uh, early uh, sunrise and the delayed sunset this all we are going to see in the next video